Hello everyone and welcome to the Trade Ideas Live Trading Room Recap for Wednesday, November the 18th. My name is Barry Anderson, moderator of your trading room. Any questions you may have for me, you can use this email address. A link for the free room. Yes, it is a free room, 100% free. You do not have to be a member of Trade Ideas to be in our free room. Room is open Monday to Friday between 9 a.m. and 3 p.m. Eastern Time. I share my screen. I'm live on the mic. In the email you're getting, you will see a link to my homepage. On my homepage, you will see a promo code if you want to take out a subscription. You'll, you'll see a link to get the trades of the week that uh, happen every Monday. Uh, this week's is doing still really well, CLF, doing very well. You'll see a link that you so you can see all the scans that I'm sharing. And also, a lot of educational links are uh, on my homepage. Well, what a day. And, um, you know, it's interesting because let's take a look at what the SPY is doing. SPY is, um, oops, a second here. SPY is, I mean, the market's up a little bit on everything. NAS is up a little, SPY's up a little, NAS is up a little. This is what the SPY has done. So you might think, wow, must be a really boring day. Not even close. I'm going to have to show you what my watch list did, but I also want to show you a couple of things that I did um, uh, pre-market. So take a look at Mara. So of note, I mean, if you don't know what Mara is, uh, look up Mara and Riot. Uh, these are uh, blockchain plays. Whether you think there's any merit to these companies or not is kind of irrelevant. What we, can, what, what, what we think, you know, all, all we can do is look at the daily charts, look at res, support resistance and, and see where, where these things could be going. Of course, these are following along with what crypto has done over the last, uh, you know, well, actually, these are kind of lagged a little bit. But anyway, Mara is more, I guess, what they call a data miner. Okay, so anyway, that's Mara. I took Mara, one of the guys in the room, GKK, suggested, you know what, you might want to take a look at Mara. Uh, I think it could do something uh, pretty good tomorrow. Now, that's a tip, okay? So, I mean, I said, sure, I'll, I'll, I'll do it. I'm not going to go crazy on it or anything like that. So I ended up taking this just before the market closed. I think the price was right there at three, what was it, 302. So a little bit of pre after hours action. I thought, okay, great. It got up to 316. There's after hours, that's that, that's the move area. I wake up this morning and yippee, look at this, all the way up here. Now I ended up selling it, so all of it, right in right uh, in this level here, this 354. So why did I do that? Um, I didn't see that the, that the cryptos were really having uh, what I would call a real big follow through yet. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to get rid of this, can always get back in. So as we speak, that was, um, you know, the, the good play. I mean, I got, I got out of it, can always get back in this. Today is not crypto day, we'll call it, you know, the, the, that, that sector is not going crazy. What sector is? Well, before I do that, let's take a look at IHT. This was the other one. Now, I don't often trade in the pre-market, but I, I, I took this trade, IHT. So why did I take that trade? Take a look at AHT. So I saw AHT doing this, you know, and AHT was up here, I think, up here when IHT was down, you know, in this level. I'll have to show you. It was probably down here. Well, actually, it was probably, it was right up here. So what I, what I, in fact, I should get to a five minute chart. I think that'll, uh, that'll show you a little bit better what I was looking at. Yeah, even a two minute chart. See if a two minute chart shows it better. Problem is I have to back this up. Will it show it without getting all distorted? Just give me a moment here. Yeah, I was, it was waiting for a break here. It's not really showing it. Okay, but here, the bottom line was this. Let me get back to my 15 minute chart. The bottom line was this. I remembered, you know, that IHT did this. I'll show you on the weekly chart. IHT did this. And so did AHT. This is, this is last week, okay? IHT did this and AHT did, had a similar move, okay? See this similar move? And so I remembered that. And so when I saw IHT or AHT doing that move, I immediately pulled up the IHT chart 
and it had not moved. It, it was up to this level, and I decided I'm taking this trade. I want to see if, if it's going to track what AHT did. And sure enough, I got in at 261. It, I mean, th this is on this candle right here, 15 minutes, and it boomed right up to 316. It got up here. I decided to, but on this move down below three, I, I got out of the entire trade. So I sold some up here and got out the balance here. Very, very quick trade. That was just a matter, that was just a matter of knowing that IHT could do something like AHT did before. So that's why I took that trade. Now let's take a look at my watch list. Now, uh, come on. If I do something stupid, it's there we go. Okay. So this is what what this is telling me. This is the first time um, these symbols alerted. It tells me the time and then tells me the price. So this is what I call the non-repeat version. So it tells me, okay, I, I can go back and say, okay, what did it do since then? So there's IHT 271. Here was the alert. And it did get back up to 306. Not bad. I mean, not, not fantastic, but not bad. I think this one had already, was already really extended. Yeah, DNK, nothing really. ANH was very, I, I call this my gentle trade. <laughs> ANH, uh, gentle, it's a big float. It's not going to be too whippy. It's an okay. Uh, let's take a look at Candy. 1109, it got up to 1148 before it pulled back. And it's back up. Ribbon, I don't think is moving. I, I've been asking people to keep an eye on a six break. Fossil, 1088. It didn't really move. Look at this one though. GP, 1780. And it fairly, you know, other than this little jog there, almost straight up to 20. This was a wild card I put in here. You know, I don't generally look at stocks as cheap. Just in case it really broke out, it hasn't. Here's, here's, the other, here's another one that I took though. Uh, this is one I took from my watch list. Look at fuel cell. I mean, this has been so active. Fuel cell at 452. So before it pulled back here on that candle, 452, all the way up to 542. I mean, that, that's a dollar move. This one, KZIA, there at 1037. This, I mean, this, this arrow there is telling you the candle in which the alert happened. So 1030, uh, sorry, uh, 1190, and almost straight up to 1397. I don't think this one has moved. 1234 hasn't moved. This one is sort of interesting. Um, I was showing people in, in the room. There's the 200-day moving average. See that green line right there? So I was saying, you know what? It's got to get through that. Now, the 200-day moving average is actually right at, um, I think it's 509. And it did pop up to 5, 5, 511. Remember, the 200-day the, the moving average is more, it's more of an area, okay? So look what it did. It stalled right there. And... It has come back, and so I have an alert, a price alert set up here around 513. Why? Because if I look at the monthly chart, if it can break through that 200-day moving average, if I look left on that monthly chart, the next high is 576. So I mean, if it can get to 5, if it can get up to 510, 515, I mean, if it can get up to 550 from five from from that level, that'd be a great percentage move. So that's why I'm kind of interested to see what it does if it can take out that 200-day moving average. RVP, I don't think it's really moved. Our RVP, um, 1055, yeah, it didn't really move. And AHT, the aforementioned AHT, uh, not really. So, you know, we had one, we had a few really, really good ones. I mean, the, uh, 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 the GP and the fuel cell and the KZIA, uh, tremendous percentage moves and some modest ones uh, for, from the rest of my watch list. So, Again, if you want to have access to this watch list, all you have to do is, from the toolbar, just click on um, uh, New, Channel Bar, and My Watch List, Barry's Watch List. Remember, everything in here is a layout. So before you do that, make sure you do save your layout to the cloud. You can only have one layout uh, loaded at a time. So, an awesome day. I mean, um, boy, I mean, these EVs, the electric vehicles, though it's interesting, a lot of people were watching NIO. Um, NIO had earnings after hours yesterday. And so there's NIO, there's the reaction, very, very choppy. Look at this, up, down, up, down. Um, the market opened today, it got all the way down to uh, 42. It has pop. it has come right back up to 46. 
there is an all, I think that's almost an all-time high right here the day before. It may have broken over 50 uh, previous, but anyway, it is coming back. So it, uh, earnings are past it now. And, um, you know, the earnings weren't bad. I mean, they didn't lose as much as, they, as it has, had been projected. And I think they've guided fairly well. But I think it was just a matter of, you know, profit taking. I mean, remember now, look, look, look where NIO has come from in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So about two months, you know, from 18. And it got up to, yeah, right. We, last week it got up to 55. So, I mean, you know, it's still looking good. I mean, it is still looking good. But, uh, you know, had to take a breather, earnings get digested, and maybe it'll resume. All right, everybody, do want to get back into the trading room. So I want to bring back the capture program. Here it is. So if you have any questions for me, you can use this email address, link to the free room, and I will open it tomorrow at 9 o'clock. I hope everybody has a great evening, and I hope to see you in the trading room tomorrow. Bye-bye.